hi guys welcome back again to this video to this channel it's makes from mx creation tv remember in today's video we are also going to still talk about the vist visa yes most of you what let us look at the vist visa versus the work visa the way the work sponsorship visa especially when we are thinking about the gulf countries yes things are not like they used to be when you talk about a vist visa you definitely get the visa you'll go in that gulf country to look for your own job yourself Let's say, for example, you're being helped by what you call uh, agents to give you a visa visa. This normally goes to, to people going to Dubai, people going to the UAE. People are being left out stranded in one way or the other on the streets. Yes, you are going to sell whatever property you have for the visa visa. But make sure as you go to there, you definitely know that you are 100% you have the job. But now what is happening? We have very many. The jobs at which now the rate that people are recruiting, it is absolutely being aware, affected by what we call the COVID-19. It find that you may have the visa visa, but you may go in that country, but you tentatively fail to find the job. Let's say, for example, you got an agent who gave you a visa visa for three months, who sponsored you for a visa visa for, for that time. Let's say for three months, but still out of the three months, you fail to get the job. Why? Because you find that even some jobs that exist in some of these Gulf countries, they will definitely, for you to get a job, they will definitely ask for what you call a Gulf experience. You do not have a Gulf experience. But remember at that time, you sold all whatever you had to sell home, hoping you are going to get the job at that time, at the very time you get into the country. And remember, as you go to those countries, maybe you have on the visa section of your visa visa. You, let's say, for example, you go to Dubai or you go to any country that you go to. You definitely need to take care of yourself. You look at transport, you look at feeding, you look at uh, accommodation. For example, if you're going to use a bed space, you definitely know that. You'll have to move door to door. You have to move to door to door of these companies to look for the job. What is going to happen? That in case you don't get that job at that very time that you wanted it to get, what is going to happen? You will definitely go into what you call overstays because you've not been able to access the job at that time. Your visa is off. You're getting to overstays. That is an extra penalty that you have to pay because you not exit out of the country unless you have to pay those penalties or you have to pay those overstays. So meaning that, for the VC visas right now, it's not like the way it used to be, that where you get into that country very fast and you get that job. Things change a little bit. For people who are moving to Dubai, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Look at Qatar right now. For you to get a VC visa in Qatar, unless your country has a waiver with Qatar, you definitely will find it very hard to get a VC visa. And if you are to get that visa, this visa, definitely the requirements for that VC visa is going to be very high. You, you definitely require to get what you call a hotel booking for yourself. You definitely require to have what you call a health insurance for yourself. Definitely those are all costs that are being going to be incurred by you. What happens? That is why a person who is accessing what you call a work sponsorship visa is far ahead of you. Much as at the same time we have problem of the, man, the recruiting man agency or manpower recruiting agencies that charge so much highly to what you expect. But definitely, you definitely know if the job is there, everything is going to be catered for. For your hair ticket, for the visa requirement, for the accommodation, for the transportation. Everything will be catered for. Other than when you have a visa, visa that you're going to cater for yourself, everything at hand, which is quite very tedious and which is quite very costly in terms. So definitely look at the terms of the cost effectiveness and also look at the terms of the convenience that you get to get through at that very time, which is quite very important at one way or the other. Yes, you've depleted all your resources home, you have that visa visa. You don't get the job, you are in overstays. The agent or the sponsor who got you the visa, you already got his job done because you're already in the country. That is what normally happens. So you end up, you end up depressed and stressed in one way or the other. So what is going to happen? 
remember you injected in a lot of money let's say for example you injected in that company or you injected in that visa around 7000 qatar euro 7000 dirhams for that visa visa and what is going to happen at that very time is that you don't get the job what is going to be of you at that time that you are going to get an inferior job you'll have to 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 make to to accept whatever the kind of job that comes on your way let's say for example it's a cleaning toilet cleaning if you're going to be a cleaner for you to make yourself live because at the first time when you are applying for that visa is not what you applied for is not what you expected you expected to get a good job but things end up not right so what will be the, my humble advice for anyone if an opportunity comes for the work visa for you please first take up that opportunity that's what i always keep on telling people because you do not have to inject in a lot first take up that opportunity then after you get into the country the rest of things will work out yourself because you're already there you've got what you call the gaff experience and you can be recruited or you can look for another opportunity that you think was in line with your career that is what i keep on advising and it's the best advice other than wasting a lot of money on your visa visa you are not assured of the job you end up going sleeping on the street you get end up getting in overstays you end up getting deep you end up getting stressed depressed in a foreign land overstays penalties and no one is going to help you out we've seen very many our brothers are suffering sleeping on the streets in dubai sleeping they've not got job the visa is off so it will be better and one way or the other if you do first accept an opportunity if it comes as a work visa everything will be catered for then after you can definitely go and get that opportunity that you feel you have to get for hope i've tried to share out something for you hope i've tried to share something for the person who asked for this question definitely i'll ask you the question when we get to compare the visa visa and work visa thank you so much see you again in the next video it's makes from the makes creation see you again thank you so much see you again in